Hi Steve, you've just finished walking Kokoda. Um, you're one of the, uh, well, you're the instigator of this trip from uh, Fountain Gate uh, Secondary College. Um, a year ago I did a presentation for you and now, now it's over. Um, what are your feelings after the, that journey of 12 months? Uh, it took a long time and at some points we were sitting there wondering, you know, seven months away, eight months away sort of thing and then slowly training, building up the fundraising but it finally got here. Uh, well worth it, had a really great group which was good um, and personally quite happy to be here and bring all the kids with us. Yeah, um, a, couple of, a couple of the students have said oh, it wasn't as hard as they thought it would be <laughs> which is po po possibly an indication of how hard they've trained um, and just how fit, fit they are. Um, of the school groups I've led, I've mentioned to you, they're probably, this is definitely the best one I've led, um, just in their, dis their discipline and their behaviour overall, so they're a credit to you and the school and obviously their parents. Um, they've obviously been selected pretty carefully to be yeah. suitable for this sort of activity. Yeah, they, and a commitment they made was to put time into paying for it, for fundraising and the training, uh, advertising around the school, all these sorts of things they did and they knew it was a full year leader. Uh, and all of that was going to take a lot of their time, as well as their study and all those sorts of things, uh, which was, yeah, really proud of them for doing that. Do you think they've developed on this trip as people? Yeah, I think they have. I think the best way is to go out and experience the world, experience what's happened, and just coming here, I think, will open their eyes to a lot of things, but also give them a life experience that you really can't replace. And as we say, there's two types of people in this world, those that walk the Kokoda track and those that haven't. And guess what? You're all members yeah, of the team that now have. We're all ones that have, yeah. Congratulations. Proud of that, yeah. Mate, it was an absolute pleasure working with you, putting this thing together initially and then actually walking it with you. And uh, I hope we can um, do that experience again in the following year or so. Yeah, no, yeah. really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, Cheers, mate. Really good, well worth it. Thank you. Good trekking with you, Steve. Thanks. Thanks, Drew. Hi Zoe. Hello. Hi, you've just finished uh, trekking Kokoda, how do you feel? Um, relieved. <laughs> I'm really glad that I did it. <laughs> is it. Is it an achievement? Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. So how much training did you uh, do before you uh, you came up here? A year's worth. A year's worth of training. <laughs> and, and do you think you were fit enough? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I reckon I was fit. Yep. Yeah, Kahayas gave us the right training procedures and it was perfect. Fantastic, mate. <laughs> what part of the track, um, did, well, the trip, did you really enjoy the most? It really stands out when you think about it. Um, either being able to do it for mum or mm -hmm. learning about the culture. That was awesome. Yep. I mean, walking it was cool, but I loved learning about the war and the culture and what happened. Right? Yep, and working with the, the porters. Yeah, oh, yeah, the porters were amazing. They're, they're, oh my gosh, so good. Yeah, would, hard trip without them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be here now. Fantastic. Hi Jake, you've just uh, finished walking the Kokoda track. Yep. Still got your Kokoda war paint on mate, that's good to see. Um, how do you feel now you've uh, completed the, uh, the walk? Oh, very well. Um, I didn't find it like, too difficult, but like, the heat is hot. No, it's, it's, it's good. Um, I enjoyed like, the culture of learning about and also learning about the war and how everything happened and and everything and Drew explained that really well. And I didn't pay you to say that, did I? Good man, that's what we like to hear. And um, so you said you didn't find it as hard as you, you thought it was going to be? No, I thought there'd be more hills. Uh, yep. A bit more muddy. Okay. Would have you liked some more hills? Yeah. You're the only person I've ever heard of who said he'd like more hills. <laughs> and uh, did you enjoy working with the quarters? And, uh, oh, they were, they were amazing. They were great. Yeah. Okay. I just can't believe how some people did it on their feet. It's just like, is all, that possible? And all one song. Uh, yeah, I'm just walking and you know, like, just sprinting past me and like, how are you not falling over? It's just, it's <laughs> one, of the, one of the mysteries of the Kokoda track. Yeah. Mate, great trekking with you and I'm glad you really enjoyed it. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Hi, Aaron, you've just finished walking the Kokoda track. How do you feel, mate? Just awesome to know that I actually did it. Yeah. For ages, I was just, am I fit enough, could I do it, and to know that I have done it, it's just fantastic. Yeah, it's a real buzz. Yeah, it's yeah. Great. And a great group you walk with. Oh yeah, it's a fantastic group of kids. Everyone seems to get along really 
well. It's really fun. It's Fountain Gate Secondary College. Yeah. Yep, and good teachers with you. Oh yeah, great teachers. Yep. Mr. Hayes just put everything together. Good training, good everything is awesome. Did you think the trip, the track was as hard as as hard as it um, you found it, or do you think it'd be sorry, or do you think it'd be harder? I thought there'd be a lot more uphills, but especially today, I found that what to be how I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. The delay was pretty hard, you thought, or? Oh, just the mud and mm -hmm. narrow track. It's how I expected it. Yep. Yeah, it was good we got some mud. Yeah. So good experience. Fun. Good. And you think you're doing any more outdoor sort of expeditions or anything like that in the near future? Oh, definitely. Yep. I want to go get a new pack and just go do whatever. It's really fun. I'm loving it. Fantastic, mate. Great trekking with you, mate. Good on you. Hi right, Janelle, you just finished walking the Kokoda track. How do you feel? How do you feel, mate? I feel relieved, but also exhausted. Yeah. Ready for a big long sleep. A big, lot. And a big dinner. And a big dinner. <laughs> the um, last day was a, well, the last two days. You found a bit taxing. Um, I think the first the first day after Kargi yep. and that half day after Kargi mm -hmm. were my hardest days. Yep. I felt pretty good yesterday and all right today, knowing yep. that we were coming to the end. And you had what you could call a bit of a fall yesterday. <laughs> yeah, you could call it a fall. <laughs> yeah, Although it. technically my bottom didn't hit the ground, so it doesn't count. <laughs> no, for those uh, viewing this uh, footage, we looked down a very steep uh, decline and uh, Janelle was lying on her back with her little feet and uh, arms and legs <laughs> in the air like a tortoise. It's uh, very, uh, very exciting for all of us. Um, which of the villages did you think you really enjoyed staying at the most? Um, I really enjoyed staying in Kargi, mm -hmm. especially when we arrived and they sang to us and then yeah. came down and sang around the fire. Yeah, that's really nice, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I really like that. Yeah. And then last night being able to all go down and swim in the waterway was yeah. really nice too. And now earlier on the trek you were complaining about the poor quality of the food. Did the um did did the food and did the food improve as the trip went on? Yeah, the food was good. Okay. Yeah. And you're a vegetarian and you got looked after? Yeah, most definitely. This is a good thing to hear, mate. She didn't complain about the food actually. No. But there was a lot of uh, competition to eat the food. Yeah. Great, mate, good trekking with you. Thank you. Hi Basil, you've just uh, finished walking the track. How do you feel, mate? Yeah, yeah, pretty, um, pretty worn out, yep. but uh, a good feel, a really good feel. Every day was a challenge, um, and I could I, I honestly say it's a for me. It's a equivalent to a marathon every day. Yep. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, achievable, and uh, to uh, the help with uh, some fantastic friends, pulled us through. Uh, felt every niche, um, yeah, as far as the bones, the hammy, the cam, the, ca the uh, calves, but um, but now we got through with deep heat and all the rest. We've had a couple of students say they didn't think it was quite as hard as they'd hoped it would be or something. Would you, quite hard enough for you, was it, though, Basil? I think if I was yep. younger, yeah. Yep. Uh, but now for me, I wasn't really harder. Challenging, but, yep. but achievable. Yeah, no, it was good. And I could do it again with a lot of rest, but um, no, I could couldn't turn around and do it again like some people. Okay. But no, and overall, how would you describe the experience you've just oh, yeah. had? No, I mean, every, uh, in all of um, this place, because it's probably one of the, the, the only battlefield that really hasn't been changed a great deal. Um, even though yeah, a lot of the battlefields have been changed, people you know, built buildings on it, but here it's almost untouched, almost the original, and I think um, you know, every, every step you take, you know, that, um, Fantastic. And you trekked it with your son, who uh, was the organiser yeah, of it? No, look, yeah, I, um, I was almost dead against it when he, uh, when he <laughs> emailed me about a year ago. Yep. And I said, oh, Steve, the, the accountability of a teacher overseas and that. And I'm glad he didn't listen to me. And but he doesn't listen to you very much, does he? No, no, Not no, anymore. No, he crossed every T and yeah. dotted every I. And, he, and uh, oh, sure, there's. And, and because of the, the dangers that you could, you know, with malaria and. Uh, Dysentery and all, uh, around here, but um, no, we came to it with um, you take precautions, there's no guarantees, but um, yeah, it was good. Fantastic, mate. Good trekking with you. Thank you. Thanks, Baz.
Hi Chris, you've just uh, finished walking the Kokoda track. Uh, how do you feel? I feel rather exhausted, but satisfied that I managed to complete the whole track. Yes. Yeah. Was it as hard as you thought it would be? Um, physically, uh, with all the training, not, um, not as hard, but with the heat, yeah, that was quite difficult. Okay, and which of the villages that we stayed in do you think you enjoyed? I experienced the most. Uh, either um, Kagi, uh, not Kagi, sorry, um, Templeton and um, I think Minari, yeah. Okay. Did you find the war history in interesting when you're actually standing in those locations where the events occurred? Yeah, I definitely found like the whole history behind the Kokoda track um, much more in depth actually being there <laughs> and um, to just to get like a better idea of what actually occurred. Um, yeah, at the track. Fantastic. And you're going to continue with outdoor adventure, adventures like Kokoda? Definitely, yeah, definitely. It's something I'm always uh, keen on and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, see where it will take me next. Fantastic. Good trekking with you. Thanks, mate. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Hi Maddie, you've um, just experienced, just finished uh, walking the Kokoda track and I'll just zoom out a bit. Um, how are you feeling at the moment? Really good. Yeah. You enjoyed it? Definitely. Yep. Best experience. Was it as hard as you thought it would be? Because some of your friends who've walked it with you have said, oh, like, it wasn't quite as hard as they, they thought it would, it, it would be. What's your feeling on that? It was easier than I thought mentally. But some of the hills were very hard to get up. Yep. Definitely. Yep. And you had to be very disciplined just to keep plodding on? Yep, definitely. So how much training did you do to get to this standard? A lot of training with our team, yep. and school and everything. And it was really good. We did the right training. Okay. At any stage during the walking the track did you think you weren't going to make it? No. That's a very good answer. <laughs> <laughs> now that you've uh, done this, is there other, other sort of adventure outdoor activity you'd, you'd like to do or would like to keep, be, keep involved in bushwalking and the like? Yeah, I really went to Kilimanjaro. Yep. And who, would, and who would you go to Kilimanjaro with? No roads. Thank you very very. Not that I'm pointing at my hat with no roads written on it. Fantastic. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was uh, on the really good there, dinner. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And which village did you enjoy staying at the most? Target, when we had the little kids all singing to us. Really yep. good. Fantastic. Great trekking with you. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Hi, Paul. You've just uh, finished uh, trekking Kokoda. How, how do you feel? <laughs> I feel pretty tired. Yep. Um, there was another word you have used on the track, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> no, it was fantastic. Yeah. Um, it's great to see everyone working so well together, and the kids have done great. You're so, one of the two teachers from Fountain Gate Secondary yep. College who are uh, who put this together and ran it. Yep. So you're you're happy with how the uh, your students performed? Yeah, certainly. I mean, really, Steve's done a lot of the work and he's done a fantastic job. Um, so it's a huge success for our school, and the kids are just fantastic. And it's been great to see them work together. Together, so. A number of them, a number of them said how, how seriously they trained and went for months and months, and I think um, that's really shone through. They did the prior preparation, yeah. and uh, they they got through the track um, in a good condition. Yeah, that's, that's really good. That's which, which of the villages you stayed in do you think you enjoyed the experience most? Oh, we were just talking about that. Oh, they were all sensational, just different backdrops, near rivers, etc. Um, I think Kargi was really nice. Just the views. So I like Temple too near the river, watching some fishing there quite local. So they were probably the two favourite spots to the river state, but the whole thing was always changing and it was just fantastic. Great man. Yeah. And you're gonna continue with outdoor adventure? Certainly. Fantastic. Well maybe not hiking for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get back to it. It's good. Fantastic. Right. Good, good trekking with you. Thank you.